Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting episode of Jay's Game Room. Today we're going to be playing Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore, which is uh, the blending of the Shin Megami Tensei series and the Fire Emblem series. Uh, initially when this was announced I was expecting something a little bit darker, but uh, what we got was almost kind of a more persona than anything, and that's that's not a bad thing. I uh, played this on the Wii U and absolutely loved it. I think a lot of people overlooked this game when it first came out, uh, but th this game's just great. I, I absolutely love it. If you're a JRPG fan, you definitely owe it to yourself to try this game out. And, and see what it's about. Uh, I, I'm very happy to see this game get another kind of lease at life uh, here on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it was released so late in the Wii U's life cycle, and of course the, the Wii U just wasn't quite uh, the financial success that, that uh, Nintendo wanted it to be. I love the Wii U. I, I still have my Wii U. I, I collect for the Wii U. I, it's always gonna have a special place in my heart, but uh, this was a game that unfortunately did not get the uh, visibility that it, it rightly deserves. So I'm, I'm excited to see it get a new life on a successful console like the Switch. Uh, and, and I'm curious to see kind of what people think of it. Uh, so we're going to play along. And thank you for uh, coming and hanging out with me while we do so. So what difficulty are we going to go with? Uh, easy and uh, no. Are, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go, let's go for a normal playthrough uh, with this one. Uh, this is a fairly difficult game. Uh, if you make a mistake, uh, it it's gonna be brutal. It, uh, it, it will punish you for making that mistake. So, okay, Tsubasa's glasses. Next, choose a setting for Tsubasa's glasses. You can decide whether it's Tsubasa or Bay. One of the game's cast appearing in the story should wear glasses as part of her casual outfits. This will, of course, not affect the story in any way. You can adjust this setting at any point during the game from the settings menu. So this is new to the Encore release on Switch. Uh, in the Wii U version, uh, Subasa did not wear glasses. So I guess that's just to kind of maybe add a little more innocence to her character or, uh, you know, that, that she was kind of an every girl that, you know, went on to become an idol uh, kind of thing. So I I think Subasa will wear glasses for, for this playthrough. She did not wear them, of course, when I played for the Wii U, so that's something new that uh, I want to take advantage of. All right. Now, I did see uh, in early reviews the load time is... Oh, wow, yeah. The <laughs> load time is a lot quicker. So, of course, this game is a work of fiction. Any similarity between its content and existing groups is all purely coincidental. Which I would hope. Oh, there's Tsubasa. Minus glasses. I mean, it would have been cool to have them reanimate it, but, you know, we wouldn't ask them to reanimate it. Yeah, kind of imprinting her, her love of theater and singing. I love the uh, little little orchestra hit there of the Fire Emblem theme, which I absolutely love. But yes, yeah, something something went wrong, didn't it? Uh, somebody just kind of disappeared all of a sudden, didn't they? That's something that normally happens when you're at a theater performance. Okay. Everybody except Subasa is gone. That's, uh, that's a good way to scar your childhood. 
people mysteriously vanishing in front of you. So mass disappearance at Opera, over a thousand missing. Oh, uh, Ayaha Orbe, I think I just read it. it. went by really quickly, but I think that is her sister, if I remember correctly. It's been so long since I played this. And then, of course, we shift to the very bright colors. And that's uh, Kyria's song, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I didn't notice the little uh, Kyria charm that's on her pack. That's awesome. Kyria is easily one of my favorite characters. There she is. Uh, easily one of my favorite characters in this game. I don't know uh, how much people watching this know or care about Japanese pop idol culture, but it is it is its own world and it is really fascinating really cool uh and definitely worth uh kind of looking into and exploring this game uh, really is such a respectful and loving nod to that that kind of world and uh that culture but uh, really cool stuff you should check it out Yeah, little uh, little nod there to Super Sentai shows too, uh, which I I love Super Sentai. Uh, I got hooked on uh, I think it's Chojin Sentai Juringer, uh, which they ended up using for the very first season of what we call Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, and I I mean Power Rangers is great, but Super Sentai just is even sweeter and. Uh, if you have an opportunity to watch Juringer or Dyringer, uh, Go Go Five, uh, any of them, they're they're awesome. Recommend uh, Jetoman. Jetoman looks good. And then uh, we have Tiki, which is uh, you know not only of course a Fire Emblem classic character, but kind of a really nice nod to um, she's a Vocaloid and. Uh, Hatsune Miku is, uh, for the for those that, that, that don't know, uh, it's essentially a computer uh, replicating a voice and singing songs in Japan. And uh, she even does uh, concerts where uh, she is uh, a hologram up on stage. Uh, but yeah, she does not exist. It, it's not a woman singing. Uh, and then uh, they interpret it and, and you know put a filter or something on it. No, it is purely a computer, and uh, that to me is cool. I mean, the music's good. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's very very bright, very bubbly. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the same time, uh, it, it's just scientifically fascinating to me that uh, it's a computer <laughs> that's singing it. So cool. All right, so uh, we have the communication tool Topic. Uh, so Itsuki uh, carries a communication tool with him called Topic. All Topic conversations are accessed through the dedicated Topic screen. Normally, you open the Topic screen with the plus button, but certain story critical messages will cause the Topic screen to pop up automatically. So in the Wii U version, uh, this is kind of like an app on your phone, uh, like a, a text messaging app uh, kind of thing. Uh, in the Wii U version, this was on the gamepad screen. So you would actually look down uh, to check your quote-unquote mobile device while playing the game. So, I mean, it, it, it was really cool. I They could do a lot of that now with just, you know, hitting a button with the Switch and other consoles. But there was something a little special about looking down and, oh, what, what messages did I get uh, from other characters? So that's cool. Uh, so it looks like we're r waiting for Tauma, and uh, he's running late. Uh, he was the one we saw earlier in the uh, kind of Super Sentai style, you know, stage kind of thing. Uh, so we get to, uh, you know, pick what to comment. Now, I'm not a jerk and say, well, I'm going home. Now, yeah, dude, don't sweat it. You know, things happen. So what we can kind of take away is Itsuki and Tauma and Subasa are all 
uh, friends in real life here. Yep, so we're gonna check out uh, this area and see what's going on. Oh, there's Tsubasa. Alright, so, oh, and we got a play record, so play records are more or less the achievements in this game. Uh, can we talk to her over there? No? Oh, let's, oh, we can kind of wander around. Like I said, it's it's been so long since I played this game. And Tiki's easily a uh, favorite Fire Emblem character of mine. Uh, they released an amiibo for Tiki uh, based off of her appearance in Fire Emblem Awakening. Uh, and they did a Chrom amiibo from that same line. Might even have been a two-pack, but yeah, I had to get that. Typical rule, if it's a Fire Emblem amiibo or Metroid or Kid Icarus... Uh, or now Zelda. I have to have all the Zelda ones, and that's partially my wife's fault. Uh, you know, I uh, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. I think the last Amiibo I got, my wife picked up uh, Simon Belmont for me because I'm an old-school Castlevania guy. So, friends auditioning. So it looks like this is the kind of an audition maybe for, you know, being a new pop idol. Let's see what Tsubasa has to say. Looks like she literally just ran here from school or something else. Oh yeah, the glasses are a good good fit for her. I like that. え、いつきか。よっぱり翼だった。今日 a lot of people uh, kind of complained that uh, this was Japanese dialogue and they didn't dub over in English. And then especially for this Encore release, uh, you know, you'd think that they'd go back and add it. And it, it's, you know, there's so much complaints about it being the censored version. Uh, and, and to be fair, even Japan got the censored version, but... Uh, I, I just, one, I love the Japanese language, so I'm a little biased. Uh, I think it's one of the most beautiful sounding languages in, on the planet. Uh, but at the same time, like, it, it's a, it takes place in Japan. It's about Japanese pop idol culture. It, it, it wouldn't make sense if it didn't sound in Japanese, uh, to me. And, and then all the music's in Japanese, too. Now, now let's, let's just embrace it as a celebration of Japanese culture. I could play ignorant and say I don't know who Kyria is, but since Kyria is easily my favorite character in this game, uh, yeah, she's she's pretty awesome. And I don't want to spoil anything. We'll we'll get to everything in this playthrough, but uh, there's a side of Kyria that that she doesn't show that uh, you find out during one of the side stories, and it kind of awakens a new uh, performance that she can do uh, that just just makes me love her even more. She's she's really got kind of that tough girl, uh, you know, attitude and vibe, but that's really not her at all, and I love that because that's so human. You know, you people make assumption yeah, about people. Uh, based off their mannerisms or how they talk or how they act and that's that's not necessarily you know how they really are and uh, I love seeing that reflected I love characters that have that kind of dimension yeah, the glasses were definitely a good addition for Tsubasa. I'm glad. It, it's so trivial uh, that it's just more or less a costume thing, but it really suits her personality. Well, 
翼って大玉で何か用事If I remember correctly, the uh, location, the actual locations in Japan where this game takes place、uh, are pretty faithful, as I understand it. I have unfortunately not made it over to Japan yet. I'm hoping in、uh, the next year that I'm able to, but、uh, I think there's even the Hachiko statue that's at、uh, the station, the train station outside of、uh, when you reach Shibuya. So, one of Millennium Idol audition. And, and I should say、uh, to, to those that don't know much about Japanese idol culture, I mean, you hear idol, and I think everyone thinks like American idol.、Uh, very different.、Uh, there's some similarities, but idol culture in Japan has a lot of rules. It has.、Uh, a lot of other things that they do and, and don't do. So there's some similarities, but、uh, some things that, that maybe, you know, an, an idol in America might get away with just would be very frowned upon in Japan. All right, so since we're waiting for, for Toma, we're going to go ahead and check out、uh, this audition and see what's going on. So. Oh, what's going on here? It's like、uh, something's following us. Soundtrack in this game is great.、Uh, again, I'm, I'm a J pop guy anyway, so <laughs> again, I'm probably biased, but.、Uh, I love the, the bright colors in the upbeat music. Yay! Seems the idol audition hosted by Gujin has begun. We have the interview portion, we have the fashion portion. And you can tell Itsuki's just loving it, just、uh, probably bored out of his mind. <laughs> It's something to do. It's something to do. And there's our friend, there's Tsubasa. Everyone, everyone's wearing a dress or stylistic clothes, and Tsubasa comes with her school uniform. Tsubasa? <laughs> Again, glasses were a good pick to suit her personality. Up,、oh, see the,、uh, there we go. Again, I don't want to spoil what the energy is or, or what that is, but、uh, very interesting. And the fact that、uh, Itsuki can see it, very interesting. A very honorable、uh, approach. Yeah, why, why would she want to get up here and pursue this line of work? Especially as shy as she tends to be. Yeah, I 
ずつ元気が出るようになりました。ああ、ちぐフレンド。Yeah, let's, let, let's not put you on the spot, Tsubasa, but what made you so depressed? Let's just bring that up to the surface and reopen that old wound. What? Normally, I would say, like, what an asshole, but there's something else going on here. Again, let's just twist the knife a little bit more in this poor girl. Jeez. Yeah, see, thank you. The, 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 even the crowds are like, what's going on here, man? That's, that's not cool. This, this dude is just absolutely an asshole. Ah, we're starting to see the truth here. Probably not how everyone expected this to go, but... So there it is. Uh, they are draining humans of their performa. Which uh, they'll explain a little bit later exactly what performa is, but uh, it's something that actresses and actors and creative types give off. And these mirages, uh, they feed off of it. And the more talented you are, or your creative potential is, the more performa you have, the stronger your performa. <laughs> Come on, Itsuki! I'm gonna make a fine vessel for her, so... Uh, again, it's been a while, uh, and there's the other side of me that doesn't want to spoil what I do remember, uh, but it, I think mirages possess uh, people or something, or they merge with them or something like that. It looks like they pulled her into a doorway to what I would presume is maybe another dimension of the realm. But it looks like Itsuki has his own performa. What 
All right, so looks like everyone's been kind of knocked down and Performa leaking out. Reminds me of uh, Sailor Moon, uh, the uh, the demons, the, oh, what were they called? Were they yokai? Uh, were draining the, the life essence out of humans to basically feed Queen Metallia and... Uh, their other mission was to find the, the silver crystal. Kind of gives me that kind of vibe. So, yeah, we, we don't know what's going to happen, but uh, we definitely are not going to leave our one of our best friends to to suffer and, you know, whatever fate uh, awaits her. So, main menu and saving, we're going to press Y to open the main menu. Uh, when we want to save our progress, we'll select system and save the game. Make sure to save your progress often. Hear me say, as someone who has played this game before, heed that warning. Save often. Uh, this is a game that requires a, a lot more thinking, and uh, as I've said, I you make the wrong mistake and the enemy starts getting into multiple session attacks against you, uh, you will wipe. Uh, and that can be frustrating, but, uh, you know, endeavor, uh, endure, you know, push through. So before we go into uh, this this other world, we're gonna go ahead and open that menu up. And I love the menu system in this game. Uh, <laughs> I should probably I want to say as, as you gain characters uh, throughout the game, they're all kind of chilling here uh, in this beautiful picturesque meadow. Uh, and it, it it almost could be an album cover. I just it 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 fits so well with the game. I absolutely love it. Uh, Let's see, any settings that we, we need to look at? No, that's all good. That's all good. Subasa's glasses. Yep. Okay, so we're good with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and save the game. There we go. Man, it's, it's so much quicker than on the Wii U version. It just makes it so much snappier. I love it. All right, so... Uh, that's a good stopping place for the first episode of this playthrough. Uh, we will continue going forward, hopefully rescue Tsubasa, try to do something. I don't know what we're going to do, uh, with, with all these otherworldly creatures, but we're, we're going to try something. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me today in the game room and we will see you next time.